boys and girls, and welcome to our next math lesson. Now, last class, we started learning about how to add up the value of coins if there's more than one of them. And we started doing this with our nickels. Now, we made a connection that we could use our skip counting to count these coins because they're each worth five cents. Now we're going to do the same in this lesson, but we're going to start using the dime. Now with this coin, it is worth 10 cents. Now I bet that you guys are already making a connection that, hey, we know how to skip count by tens as well. Now that is amazing, but we're going to learn a different way to add up these coins by making our money hairy. Now that sounds a little bit funny, but what we're going to do is we're going to continue counting our coins by skip counting by fives. Now, like I just said, you guys know how to skip count by tens. So you're probably saying, Mrs. Collymore, then why would we skip count them by fives? In this lesson, it might feel a little funny because you have this skill. But by using our hairy money strategy, it's going to help us when we get to bigger coins. And it's going to help us when we start mixing all these coins up and adding up nickels and dimes and quarters all together. So today we're going to learn the hairy money strategy, even though you guys know how to skip count by tens. Now, what our hairy money strategy is, is we add a hair to the coin for how many times we need to skip count by fives to equal its value. So I'm going to start up here. We did nickel last lesson, but just to show our strategy, to skip count by fives for this coin, I only have to skip count one time to equal its value because its value is five cents. When I skip count, I only have to count each coin one time. So the nickel has one hair. Now to use that idea for the dime, I want to know how many times I have to skip count to reach its value of 10 cents. So I want you guys to skip count with me and stop when we reach 10 or 10 cents. So when I'm skip counting by fives, that's five, 10. I had to count two times to reach 10. So a dime is going to have two hairs on it. Five, 10. There we go. So I've added that to our anchor chart. I'll make sure on this assignment that the anchor chart attached is updated to show this. So when I flip over the paper now, we're going to add up our dimes and we're going to start by adding our hairs onto each coin first. So I'm going to flip this over and let's find our dimes. All right, there they are. Just like we discussed last lesson, it takes too long to draw the coin and the boats that are on it and all the details. So I can write or represent a dime by drawing a circle and writing 10 cents inside. So my first step to count this up, I have two dimes here and I want to know what the value of that is or how much money it is altogether. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my coins hairy. I'm going to add two hairs to each coin. There they are. Now I can add these up by skip counting each hair by five. And that's going to tell me how much money we have. So we have five, 10, 15, 20. Two dimes equal 20 cents. Don't forget to put that cents behind it. Now our next one has a lot of dimes. I'm going to do my first step 
by making my money hairy, I'm putting two hairs on each coin so that I can count up these values by fives. Okay, each coin has two hairs. Let's count it up. Make sure you're counting with me. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. So here we go. I'm going to write 80 cents. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight dimes is worth 80 cents all together. Our very last one here. Let's make our hairy money. Two hairs on each. Okay, and let's count it up. I want to know how much money four dimes is worth. How many cents? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. 40 cents. There we go. All right, boys and girls. Now that we've had a little chance to try adding up dimes and using our hairy money strategy, it's your turn to try this out. Now attached to the assignment, there is a PDF that has three questions as well. And beside each question, it has pictures of dimes. Now last lesson, I said we can't write on top of this document. What I wanted you to do was to draw those amounts of, well, the last lesson was nickels, so this time is dimes, to draw out the dimes. That way it gives you a chance to practice representing them like this. But now that we have them written out, it helps us to add our hairs on each coin for our questions. Okay, so that's why we want to try and practice this by hand. So for each question, draw your coins, put on your hairs for each dime. Each dime has two and skip count by fives to find out its amount. All right, so boys and girls, try that out. Resources to help you with this assignment are I'm going to put up our anchor chart with our updated hairs so that you remember what the strategy is and the value of the coins. I'm also going to put up our skip counting by fives hundreds chart in case you need a little bit of help with that one. Okay, boys and girls, so try out adding up our dimes and using the hairy money strategy. All right, have fun and good luck.